I'm Charles Bankhead of MedPage Today. Early implementation of palliative care was associated with better quality of life, less depression, and improved survival in patients with metastatic non-small cell lung cancer. That's according to a study in the August 19th issue of the New England Journal of Medicine. Traditionally, palliative care has been associated with end-of-life care. Dr. Tim Quill of the University of Rochester in New York explains how this study differed from tradition. Well, this was a very interesting study in the sense that it looked at a population of people who were newly diagnosed with lung cancer, and it randomized them into two groups. One group got standard chemotherapy, standard medical care, and the other group got standard chemotherapy, standard medical care, plus very early palliative care involvement. So that meant that in addition to the standard treatments, they got a palliative care specialist to work with them to try to better manage their pain and symptoms, uh, to talk with them about their goals of care, to provide added support for their family. The overall positive results of the study included some findings that were not so surprising and others that were it looked at what would be the effect of this early intervention on both quality of life, patient emotional state, and length of life. What was uh, uh, not surprising about the study is that the palliative care group, the group that received palliative care, had better symptom management and better symptom control. They had less depression, both statistically significant. But what was exciting to us is that the group that received palliative care lived on average approximately 2.7 months longer. Uh, so that suggested that good quality of life management and good conversation about what's really happening may actually improve length of life in addition to quality of life. Dr. Quill, who was not involved in the study, said the findings could help move palliative care to an earlier point in the treatment of patients with life-threatening illness. I think most of the time palliative care is equated with, uh, uh, I think falsely equated with end of life care. So people wait uh, till all medical treatments have failed uh, uh, and, and the patient might be ready for hospice to consider palliative care. There's been a tremendous movement nationally toward moving palliative care upstream to make it a part of standard medical care, particularly of the sicker patients because it, it, it makes no sense to have people suffering in ways that we could relieve at the same time that they're receiving the best possible medical care. And what's exciting about this study is this show that we are able to help not only quality of life, but people actually live longer if they get better uh, quality of life management. And that, that's something we've been trying to demonstrate in many different ways, but this is the best demonstration so far. From that page today, I'm Charles Bankhead.